Disney. What is this? It is 10 p.m. on a Wednesday? Is that the Disney trailer release cycle? I was I was in the middle of having a lovely drink for the evening. I guess eight hours backwards makes it two o'clock in the afternoon. Still a Wednesday? Is the day they released the teaser for Moana 2? Okay, man, whatever. So this is a movie we have known for a while. To be honest, I've been feeling a little guilty that the last few videos have been, here's a sequel, here's a sequel, here's a sequel, but <clears throat> here's another sequel going on right now. You know, if I was Disney, I kind of feel like I'd want to lay low a little bit after Disney's wish. Kind of a disaster. Their name is in the dirt, but I guess New Year, New Disney. And by New Disney, we mean Old Disney, with the last good Disney movie there was in the last decade. Maybe the only one? Decades are long. Can you tell I'm off my usual schedule for making a video like this? I initially thought that Moana 2 wasn't even called Moana 2. I thought it was going to be called something quite funky out of the first trailer I saw for it. Because I actually saw it under the title Viana 2. But it turns out that's just one of the international titles for Moana. What is there to see from this teaser trailer? Oh look, they're going to be on the island of some kind. Boat is there. And they gave us the princess's feet for free. Brilliant. A conch shell to tell us, woohoo, they exist. Oh, sorry, no, what, not wahoo, it's Tuhu. Tahu? How? Tahu. Oh, excuse me. But okay, sure, it's a teaser trailer. They haven't said much about what it actually is, so let me fill in some of the gaps for you, eh? I already uploaded today. I thought I was done for the day. I rested myself for like the first evening in two weeks. The Disney said no. They whipped me back in the shape and said, get back to work. So, I'm back to work. Still, here's what we know so far about this project. Not only does it actually exist, and I'm sure we'll get a trailer sometime soon for the main event, the actual release date for this movie is November of this year. So, doing a little bit of research into past Disney trailers, you know, I was actually going to try and keep an idea of when movie trailers release. Not usually is there one at 10pm on a Wednesday. The weirdest I've heard is a 3pm on a Monday, and that was for the Garfield movie. But anyway, the last time a Disney movie came out in November was, what do you know, Disney Wish. And the Disney Wish trailers came out four months ago and nine months ago from now. But also the movie released two months ago. So really, that was September last year for the full main official trailer. And then going back a little further, it goes to the end of April of last year. So really, the main trailer for Moana, or Viana 2, is likely to be April, if you wanted to make a prediction like that. I'll certainly pencil it in somewhere, much like my Pixar prediction of March. Oh, you know what? I'm so far into my mid-drink grumble that I just realized this is new news. We I was about to say this has been announced like a year or two ago. No, that's the live action Moana. They're they're turning Moana into its own spinny-offy franchise. This is getting more love than Frozen at this point. Yeah, okay, forget all the past, oh, we knew about this before. No, we didn't. They're just making an actual sequel. And apparently it's separate to the live action production, which is still going ahead. Officially, this movie was announced during an earnings call with the CEO of Disney, Bob Iger, just today, February 7th. Sorry to date it immediately. It's the 8th in 43 minutes for me, so I apologize for all of you. And apparently this is said to be a slightly new direction for Disney going forwards, as apparently the CEO went to admit that they have been doing too much to feed Disney Plus too quickly, which is why they've been making some crappy quality productions lately. So instead they're going to focus on non-originality, just make sequels out of the most popular thing. And popular is right. The first quotes I could find when researching through articles about Moana 2 is the one that says, Moana remains an incredibly popular franchise, Iger said in a statement. We can't wait to give you more of Moana and Maui when Moana 2 comes to theatres in November. Ah. The Disney train tried originality after 100 years, realised they can't do it anymore, so let's just cough up the old again. <laughs> And to be fair, it makes sense. Moana was the last good squeak of Disney movies. Like, I enjoyed things like Raya and the Last Dragon, I guess, if they expanded it more, but a good musical? Not even Frozen 2 could keep up. And now they're doing the treatment to Moana. Is this really good news? You know, maybe I don't know anymore. I'm certainly not in the state of mind to give a deep opinion right now. Whilst at the same time, I guess Moana stands fast as like a brilliant one-off tale, you know? Of this girl that dreams of the sea. The sea is her calling. She goes out, has an adventure, sorts out a centuries-long generational problem with that stone lava lady, 
thing and then goes back. Is there more? Does the sea call a second time? I mean, that's kind of what happened to like Elsa. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they can really do this well. <laughs> to be fair, it's got better hopes than the live action, I guess. Oh, and actually there are some semblances of a plot that can be surmised here beyond just blowing into a conch, apparently. Um, what I can find in some articles is, after receiving an unexpected call from her wayfinding ancestors, this totally isn't Frozen 2 where she hears callings in her head as well, Moana must travel to the far seas of Oceana and into dangerous, long lost waters for an adventure unlike anything she's ever faced. If you forget the last movie, where she went over Oceana and into dangerous long lost waters, don't worry about it. Thank you for making it to the halfway mark, here's the quick little poke to subscribe. I keep saying I'm going to cover every little animated main news that comes out. Apparently there's loads to talk about. Bloody well Disney teaser trailer has just dropped in the middle of the week. If you look at the last week of uploads I've made, five of them are bloody well sequel bait. I swear I'm not trying to overuse the thumbnail design and just put a giant sequel on the picture. They just keep popping up. It's like whack-a-mole, I can't help it. Anyway, thank you for making it halfway through. I'm gonna stop rambling. And by that I mean I'm gonna start rambling from 10 minutes in my past. Thank you for watching halfway through. Hope you watch the rest. Do subscribe, if you wish. <laughs> and I'll see you in 20 minutes when DreamWorks announces another sequel or something. Oh my god, literally all three major studios are doing something. Disney, Pixar, and DreamWorks. Kung Fu Panda 4, Inside Out 2, Moana 2. What a world. Moana 2, the animated epic musical Walt Disney Animation Studios project, takes audiences on an expansive new voyage with Moana Maui and a brand new crew of unlikely seafarers. The chicken again, I imagine. All right, cool, brilliant. Actually, that's kind of nice. She'll have a crew, an unlikely crew, but a crew, cool. Now we do know some of the cast members involved in this production. We've got Dave Derrick Jr. directing, who did not direct the first film and is actually just an entirely new one hopping on, I believe, as well as music being done by, oh, all sorts of people actually, being done by Abigail Barlow, Emily Bear, Opatia Fowey, and Mark Mancina. All of these people have several Grammy wins or nominations, you know, actually p pulling in the stops after, you know, the last, the last Disney production. Great. I'm glad to see a semblance of care being put into something, just not necessarily original. Apparently the island in the teaser trailer is in fact a return to the island of Motunui. I didn't even know the island had a name. I watched the movie didn't watch with subtitles so I didn't I didn't pick up any of the words but that's also just a general problem I have with anything that doesn't have subtitles I really should be a movie reviewer man I go into cinema screenings and then can't understand half the words hearing problems are just a genetic thing with me uh, it's, it's a thing still at least they took a little bit of a break between sequels this is eight years apart since the original was in 2016 where does the time go I don't know time fades away like sand through our hands and then sloshed in water by a weird water goblin. Honestly, I want more focus on the water god. That was like the most interesting character to me. I imagine what we'll get is a 20 minute expansive short about the chicken. Ah, uh, okay, so linking back to that old quote about feeding Disney Plus too much, apparently this sequel idea was originally going to be exclusively a Disney Plus series, but now they've expanded it into a whole film. It's like Zootropolis Plus, just turn into an actual movie. Is that better? I don't know. I quite enjoyed Zootropolis Plus, so maybe there's something there. At the same time, that series was entirely baked into the movie and just added more to that original experience, so really, it's who knows. Apparently, it's not even clear if Dwayne Johnson is going to be involved or a couple other of the cast members. I'm not sure if anyone's actually been confirmed confirmed. They have to, right? As much as I technically am not that into it, now that I know that Dwayne Johnson doesn't like ever losing a fight and contractually makes it so that he can't. I guess unless in animated form? Because uh, he totally lost in the first movie. I don't know. Either way, like, okay, cool. I'm sure they'll be confirmed. What are the odds that they don't do another Disney movie, you know? He's involved in the live action. Why wouldn't he be involved in the sequel? This is a Thanksgiving holiday movie, apparently, since Disney locks in five days around that time period, from what I can find in my research. Oh, and a notable person missing so far, uh, Lynn Manuel Miranda. Apparently not announced so far in this project. Are they needed? Are they necessary? I kind of think they are. At the same time, they've had their Disney paycheck. They've been making several things. Maybe they were just contracted for a certain number. You know, two. So, uh... I'll be curious to hear if Disney can make anything decent without them. And as a final note of research I can actually find without rambling about the live action movie, uh, the original movie made $680 million, which actually kind of isn't that massive in the grand scheme of things, but maybe it was good for eight years ago. I guess a sequel they'll hope will do more. And apparently it streamed over a billion hours on Disney+, Plus, so that probably explains why they're a little bit more 
motivated, you know, to make a project like this. I don't want to say I didn't expect this, but I guess in a sense, I kind of did. It makes sense that you, after a massive failure, like, wish, I almost forgot what it was bloody well called there, they would try to just continue making more out of the last good Disney movie they made. This all comes together during an earnings report for quarter one by Bob Iger, so I guess I apparently need to keep an eye on when CEOs go and do announcements on the insider business side of things. I need to pick up my research. Wednesday, 10 p.m. on a Wednesday, and I saw this trailer an hour late. I'm missing out on everything. I've, I've screwed up this entire thing. Work never sleeps for me, apparently. I can't even enjoy a nice drink in the evening without being interrupted. <sighs> but at the end of the day, to be honest, this movie will probably do really, really well. I just would have thought they'd lay low a little bit longer, considering I still find Disney embarrassing to think about. But that's me, particularly skeptical and cynical version of Daz this evening for no apparent reason. I will see you all hopefully a little bit more than six hours time before the next upload. I'd like to sleep in those next six hours if possible. I'll be ending it off there. My name's been Daz. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. I'm sorry you had to see me a little bit more like this. Hey, you know, it's, um, it's midnight coming up. Let me have a, a... I shouldn't really be doing this on a Wednesday now that I think about it. It's very unprofessional. Uh, I don't have a normal work schedule anyway. Let me know your thoughts on the Disney sequel. Uh, do you have hopes? I kind of think it could be good. But also, it's just Disney doing Disney. Have a lovely evening, whatever you're up to. And I will see you in a little bit.